energy giant Chevron out with four quarter, fourth quarter results this morning, and revenue beat expectations by a lot. It was billions of dollars that they came in, but the profit did miss on the earnings per share number, and the stock is off by more than 4% in the pre-market. Joining us right now in a first on CNBC interview is the CEO, Michael Worth. And, and Michael, it's great to see you here this morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Becky. L let's talk a little bit about the, the quarterly numbers. Um, the stock's off this morning. Earnings per share was weaker than expected, but there were a lot of things that were in there, some charges um, that, that were taken in the quarter that the street might not have anticipated. I don't know. Maybe they did. Um, but the revenue was quite a bit better. Again, billions of dollars better than had, in, had been anticipated. So what did the street miss here? What were they not anticipating that showed up in those numbers in the earnings per share? Well, Becky, it was, a, it was another strong quarter and, uh, and frankly, a record year. The quarter had uh, some non-cash charges that are very difficult, I think, for the street to anticipate and to model. But the headline is, uh, we're more efficient, generating more cash and, and lower carbon. Uh, this is the second quarter in a, yo, a, second quarter in a row with, with record free cash flow. And the full year free cash flow was 25% higher than the best year we've ever seen before, including periods when oil was over $100. And, and that cash is flowing back to shareholders. Earlier this week, we announced a 6% dividend increase, the 35th consecutive year of uh, higher dividend payouts. Uh, our dividend's up almost 20% from just 2019, when others in our industry actually have cut their dividends. And uh, our share buybacks are at the top of our guidance range and represent about 2% of our outstanding shares per year. So we're in a, we're in a very, very strong position. You know, the, the stock did hit a new high after that, that dividend increase because it was higher than people had been anticipating, up 6%. Um, what is this tell you, telling us, though, just in terms of what your priorities are right now? It's just giving money back to the shareholders in terms of the share buybacks, in terms of the dividends, and not necessarily spending more on CapEx to go after and maybe drill more frequently. That's the, that's the kind of pattern we would have seen in the past from any of the big majors. And when oil prices got so high above $90 a barrel like this, you would immediately see companies everywhere start to reinvest and take the money and say, we're going to chase more oil so that we can sell at these higher prices. That's, it's a very dis different discipline right now, isn't it? It is, Becky. And I think you used the key word, which is discipline. And for, for years now, we've been talking about higher returns and lower carbon. And that means you've got to maintain capital discipline in your organic uh, capital in your, your M&A activity. Our budget uh, for this year is at the low end of our guidance. And our capital spending is down 50% from what it was just in 2019. If you look at Chevron and Noble Energy, who we acquired uh, in, in 2020. Uh, and so we're, we're down uh, significantly in capital spend. Our operating costs are down 10%. Uh, we've got a clear strategy to leverage our strengths to deliver lower carbon energy and, uh, and we intend to just keep getting better. But that discipline is at the core of, uh, of our strategy, and it has been for years. I mean, that's something the market likes to see and that shareholders have certainly benefited from. But we are seeing how that plays out in higher oil prices just for everybody else in the market. OPEC's at the point where they're not, either not supplying or can't supply more. Demand has been skyrocketing recently. Um, and and it, we've watched oil prices go up incredibly high, as, as, or incredibly quickly, I should say, as a result. Uh, we did see oil above $90 earlier in the week. Right now, WTI is at $88.20 a barrel. Um, you expect that that is going to be the, the case, that high prices stick around and maybe even push higher from here because of the demand supply picture? Well, Becky, we're certainly in an up market right now. Demand is coming back strong, and we, we still don't see... Uh, office commuting, uh, business travel or international travel really at the levels that, that it was pre-pandemic. So there's likely still further demand growth uh, ahead of us. We've come through a, a remarkable time where uh, demand collapsed in 2020 uh, as the, the pandemic set in. We saw oil prices actually go negative and there was a concern about uh, being able to store the oil that the world was producing, running out of uh, a storage capacity that whole equation now has flipped with this uh, surging demand. Supply had to adjust to deal with those conditions uh, just less than two years ago. And, uh, and we're on the reverse side of that now with uh, extraordinary demand strength and supply struggling to keep up. So we, we, we are in a, a period of time where there's been some upward pressure on markets. I think longer term, uh, markets rebalance and these things moderate. Uh, but exactly when and how that happens is, uh, is still to be seen.